Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my January 2021 haul video. This is my first haul of the year. If you guys are new to my channel, just so you know, I do film a haul every month just to keep it all nice and neat and organized. I do have a haul playlist, so if you like to binge on haul videos, I would highly recommend checking it out because Oh my gosh, I love hauls, and uh, this one is pretty epic. I've got some really good stuff. I always try to lessen what I'm buying. I thought I started off so great in January. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to buy any makeup. And uh, lo and behold, here I am, as per usual, sitting here surrounded by beautiful things so if you guys like hauls just keep watching if you don't like hauls if you don't like to see excessive amounts of eyeshadow this is your time to exit the room close out the video and go on about your day come back when you're feeling like watching some groovy makeup haulage happening <laughs> Did I just date myself? Was I like 100 when I said that? Anyway, I'm excited. I'm so excited. It's Friday night and I'm ready for my January haul video. So without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay guys, so let's start off with this little pile I have going on over here. I can't remember if I showed this in my December haul, but I'm going to show it now. This is the Juvia's Place X. Yami Angelina collaboration. I haven't even opened this yet. I'm definitely gonna film with this palette. It's not the newest palette by Juvia's Place, but there's some really pretty shades in here. I picked this up when I picked up the little quads that they launched towards the end of December. So I'm definitely still gonna film with this. I feel like this is the perfect palette for spring anyway, so stay tuned if you guys wanna see a look with this palette. So the next items I'm going to show you guys, I wasn't planning on buying, but FOMO kicked in and I did pick up the BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles and the, um, a pre, a pre, what is this one called? A Praise in Aspen, the highlighting palette. I definitely regret purchasing the highlighter palette, but I actually ended up really enjoying the eye look I created with the eyeshadow palette. If you haven't seen my video, I would highly recommend checking it out. I'll try and remember to link it in the eye if I remember. Otherwise, just check out my channel. It should be a pretty recent video, but I had a lot of fun with this palette. I definitely plan on using this some more off camera, on Instagram and stuff like that. And I will be featuring this in my January rankings video that you can look forward to in the upcoming weeks. Okay, next I bought all of these single shadows. Just kidding, but I did buy these awesome ColourPop 9-pan eyeshadow palettes. These were on sale on their website for like $2.50 and I promised myself in 2021 I was going to curate more small eyeshadow palettes with my singles collection so I thought these would be so handy plus if I want to gift any single shadows to my friends and stuff I can use these so I grabbed a bunch and I am so happy with myself. I already created a little palette for myself with my newest eyeshadows from Davina. So I recently purchased their Aurora Flares, which is their multi-chromes, and one of their regular shade from them. So I put them all in my cute little ColourPop palette so I can keep it on my desk and it makes it easy to use. So I would highly recommend checking out the ColourPop magnetic palettes. They're so affordable, nice and sturdy, and I really like this packaging, so very excited about that. So I already have a video on this collection as well. Highly recommend checking it out. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Love Story Collection. I bought the discounted bundle on her website, so I got the little eyeshadow palette. I got the blush highlighter palette and the lipstick. I already filmed a first impressions video with this, so again, I will try and remember to link it in the eye. I love this little collection. I just think it's so cute, and I would love to see more brands do little collections like this. And... Yeah, you guys will have to head over to that video to see my thoughts. So next I bought some mascaras to try out. I was trying really hard not to purchase mascaras, but everyone's been raving about this Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational Mascara, so I did pick this up. It is actually really nice. 
I know it's really hard to get, but I found it at my local Walmart, so I did grab it and try it. I haven't tried this one yet. This is the Air Volume Mega Mascara by L'Oreal. This tube is very fascinating to me, so I did grab that. And then I saw my friend Paulina had bought like five of these <laughs> Essence mascaras, so I was like, well, let me try it and see. So this is the You Better Work Length Definition Mascara. It says it's waterproof, so I bought this on Ulta when I placed an order, and yeah, it's just fun to have some new drugstore mascaras to try out, so I will be testing these mascaras out in the month of February. Next, I got a little PR skincare from Good Molecules. I'm using this upstairs in my master bath, so I don't have the product to show you, but this is the Yerba Matte Wake Up Eye Gel, and it is formulated to help revitalize and energize the eye area. I am a Good Molecules affiliate, so if you want to use my discount link, it is in my description box, and I've been using this on and off. It's nice. I don't see any magical difference with it, so I'll leave it to you guys to make up your mind on that. I do wear eye cream every day and every night, so yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. So far, I haven't seen a magical difference by using this. Next, I picked up a fragrance on recommendation of my friend Angie. So this is the Jo Malone Orange Bitters Cologne. And this is a limited edition scent. So at first I couldn't even get it anywhere, but I finally found it on Nina Marcus. And oh my gosh, it smells so good. Angie's really right about this scent. It definitely smells like you're peeling like a fresh orange. And I just love citrus scent, so I would recommend if you like a little bit of a masculine, feminine kind of scent, you might enjoy this. This perfume is pricey in my opinion, so it's about 75 bucks for this uh, one fluid ounce bottle, so it was a little painful. I never smelled it. I totally just bought it off of Angie's recommendation, but I'm happy I did, and I will keep you guys posted. I've only had it for like a day or two, so... We'll see. I feel like scent takes some time, you know, you have to wear it a few times and see what you think. But my husband really likes it. I had him smell it on me today. He said it reminds him of home, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> okay, just really quickly want to show you guys the brush set that Alter Ego sent me. They also sent me their two new eyeshadow palettes. I have a video with the Blooms palette on my channel already, so I would recommend checking that out. And I really like their brushes, so... I have them sitting on my desk here in a cup and they're very affordable and they do last quite well. I do have their eye brush set that I picked up with my own money and so I'm happy to have another brush set from them. I do have a code with them, it's Karen10 and that is not an affiliate code. It does save you money and these brushes were gifted to me from the brand. Since we're talking about brushes, let's talk about two brushes I picked up from the Sonia Kashuk line at Target. I was really fascinated when I saw these brushes on the Target website. As you can see, they have a little bit of a slant to them. So I grabbed this buffing foundation brush, which is, it has a number, but it's not on the brush, so I'm sorry. And I also grabbed the buffing concealer brush. These have been really nice so far. I think they were both around $11. The foundation brush definitely feels very well made. It's nice and heavy and... Yeah, I've been really enjoying this. As you can see, they're nice and dirty. So this was a really good find at Target, in my opinion. <laughs> okay, so I did get a gift from a sweet subscriber. She's actually a Charlotte Tilbury consultant, and so she sent me a bunch of Charlotte Tilbury stuff. So thank you so much to Kelsey. I will link her Instagram account if you guys want to go check it out. So she sent me the Bejeweled eyeshadow palette from Holiday. She also sent me this gorgeous brown eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury that I'm really enjoying. She also sent me this Charlotte Tilbury skincare set. I've already taken it upstairs and I've been using it, so I'll keep you guys posted on that. But she sent me this beautiful gift, and you thought I was done, but I'm not. She sent me this mini set of Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. How cute! I haven't tried these yet. I'm so terrible. I need to try these. And then she also sent me the Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand, which I have been using. This is so nice. 
gives me like a beautiful glow and if you haven't checked out the light wands they are very interesting packaging they kind of almost look like a lip gloss but they have this little sponge so I tend to just pat it on my face I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do but these products are really nice I know she has more shades of this and she also has a contour one so highly recommend checking out Charlotte Tilbury if you guys are interested very nice very well made products and one more Charlotte Tilbury product I picked this one up because I had FOMO from not buying the fire rose quad so I picked up this flawless eye filter luxury palette and this is what it looks like I have used one of the shades and it was really nice I was a little bit nervous since this is a big gelée formula but I did use a little bit of a thicker brush and I was able to apply the eyeshadow without any issues so yeah she's cute but I haven't reached for it since that one time I used it and she's definitely not the fire rose quad I'm still waiting for her to bring that quad back oh my goodness but yeah I got a few Charlotte Tilbury products in the month of January so I feel very bougie so to keep on the cheek product train I also picked up a bunch of products from kimchi beauty i ended up doing a video where i tried kimchi chic beauty for the first time i was so curious because i've heard so many good things about the face products so i bought the taylor blush in the shade vacation i also picked up the taylor blush in the shade mercedes i definitely noticed i had such a hard time picking out shades because there's not a whole lot of videos about kimchi chic beauty especially not with tan skin tones so if you want to see like swatches and how these products did on my face i would highly recommend checking out that video i also picked up one of these beautiful thaler get glow highlighters in the shade central pays glow and then i also picked up this beautiful highlighter called hope this is the pearls gone wild formula and it's this beautiful intense like iridescent blue purple highlighter that looks white in the pan and then this has been my favorite cheek product that I picked up from the kimchi brand and it is the Taylor bronzer in Ivan to Venice and again it was so hard to figure out what bronzer shade to pick up but this one works really well with my skin and I have been going at this pan if you could see it the etching on the pan is almost gone because I've been using it a ton so I've been really enjoying those face products from Kimchi Chic Beauty. And then I picked up more face products. I grabbed these new blushes from Flower Beauty. So we have the Flower Pots in Berry More and Spiced Petal. These are two new shades and I really like these two colors. So I did pick them up. And then I also grabbed this Nabla bronzer. I was so curious to try this Nabla bronzer formula. You guys know I have the highlighters, I have the blushes, so I was very curious about the bronzer. I feel like I screwed up and I bought the wrong shade. This is the shade Soft Revenge. So I did use this one time in a trying new makeup video. I haven't used it since because it feels very cool tone and I'm kind of wondering if I should exchange this for a different color because I'm not 100% sure this is the right shade for me if I'm being very honest with you guys. Another product that I picked up and I'm kind of on the fence about keeping is this Ritual Defi um, an Anethely Anethelian highlighter. It's a rare highlighter luminizer and it's a cream highlighter by this like indie brand and I actually didn't realize that they were sold on Ulta.com so when I saw that it was available at Ulta, I was like, let me grab one. Let me see what the hype is about with Ritual Defeat because Teresa is dead, Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. Like, everyone's so, so hyped about this brand. So I was really curious because you guys know I'm a makeup junkie. I'm not 100% sure that this is my cup of tea. I need to use it more though. So I'm going to make that a part of my daily makeup ritual. I'm going to add it to my desk here. So hopefully... I'll feel the need to pick it up and try it out. I also picked up two products from the latest launch from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I grabbed the new highlighter. This is called Iced Out. I was so surprised how beautifully this works on my skin tone. I know it looks like a straight up white highlighter, but I do have a video where I did test this out. So I would highly recommend checking it out. I'm actually wearing this highlighter on my face today and I love it so much and then I got the brow freeze which I'm also wearing in my brows today I really like this I'm a big fan of the Anastasia Beverly Hills 
clear brow gel so this is kind of like that but in just like a pot form so I feel like I will have this for much longer it'll last a lot longer than the brow gel because I feel like I go through that really fast and it definitely keeps my brows in place it does feel a little bit like there's a hard texture on my brows but it doesn't feel crusty and I feel like it does a decent job of keeping my brows in place. Okay, so in January, I also got to work with the website Stylevana, and they sent me a bunch of fun K-Beauty products. So you will see this video sometime at the start of February. That's when I'm allowed to post it. So if you guys wanna see all these cool K-Beauty products in action, I would highly recommend checking out that video. If it's already posted, I'll try and remember to link it in the eye for you guys to check out. Okay, so I wanna show you guys a random purchase of mine that I made from Walmart. Mostly, I would say avoid buying this. This is the Flawless Brows, removes hair instantly and pain-free. This is perfect for eyebrows, 18 karat gold plated, and it says it basically is a brow hair trimmer that I picked up. So it has a precision tip and it's supposed to remove hair around brows and maintain the shape. I feel like this does not work that well. It kind of looks like a pen, but I swear I don't feel like it takes off that much brow hair. I have another one of these around here. I have this one that I think I got from like Walmart or Target again. And I feel like this shape works a lot better. Sometimes though I do take off too much hair with this one so I have to be careful. But I don't know about this one. I feel like if you guys have been thinking about picking this up at Walmart, maybe skip it. Uh, but I just wanted to mention that in my haul video in case you guys were eyeing this. I mean, it was like 20 bucks, so it wasn't like a ton of money. But I still feel like, you know, if you're paying for something, I want you to get something really good. So just want to mention that. Okay, and then I just want to show you guys this PR package I received from Sigma. I already took the products upstairs. They launch a lip treatment set. So there's a lip balm, a hydrating lip gloss, and then on the inside there's a lip mask. I personally don't like the gloss because it feels like it has chunks of glitter in it, so I'm not a fan of that. The lip mask is okay. It's not anything to die for, and the balm is okay too. I have those upstairs in my master bath, but they sent me this really cool like PR box so I wanted to remember to mention that and you guys know I am a Sigma affiliate so I have all that information down in my description box and that was sent to me and then one other thing that was sent to me that I want to show you guys are these hair extensions from Irresistible Me so I have been playing with faux ponytails and extensions for quite some time so I'm very very excited to test out these hair extensions and these were gifted by the brand so I'm gonna probably test these out sometime in the next few weeks so keep an eye out for that if you guys are looking for some hair extensions I know that there's so many brands out there so I'm very very excited to try these out okay more cheek products I did grab this because it was on like extra sale on Sephora this is the hourglass ambient lighting edit mini sculpture unlocked palette that they came out with for holiday I feel like it takes me forever to use up hourglass powder products so I probably didn't need to buy this but it was like 30 bucks when I got it so I'm not too mad about it I also bought another really ridiculous product on sale this is the Becca Barbie Ferrara collaboration palette and I talked about how much I used to love the Becca holiday collections this one is exceptionally ridiculous looking as far as I'm concerned the packaging is so over the top but I was curious because I was able to get this for 10 bucks on Alta's website so I was like let me just grab it I thought these shades would make really pretty blushes on me so I will keep you guys posted I still haven't dipped into this so I'm gonna put this in a trying new makeup video at some point but I don't know I can't remember did I talk about this in my December haul I probably did if I did I'm sorry I'm trying my best to keep track of when everything comes into my collection, but sometimes I fail and that's okay because I'm only one person <laughs> and I do have other things I do in a day or a week or a month, so I'm trying my best here, people. Okay, so this is the best palette I've tried in 2021 so far. This is the Adept Plain Jane palette. Oh my gosh, I did a video with this. If you guys have not considered picking this palette up yet, I would highly recommend getting on that pre-order train. This is a beautiful palette. I bought it 
around Black Friday and I just got it in the month of January. It went by really fast. Honestly, it's worth the wait in my opinion if you like really different kind of beautiful metallic shadows and you already have every matte shade you can ever think of. I would say this is definitely worth trying out. So I love it so much. Please go ahead and check out my video that I filmed with the Plain Jane palette. Now, if you watch my Plain Jane video, you also saw me feature these two new neutral palettes from Midas Cosmetics. These are so nice. They are the Unveil palette. So I have the Cool Nudes and I have the Berry Nudes. So this is what these palettes look like. I love these because they're just, you know, all the neutral colors you need. The packaging is nice and simple. I feel like these would be so handy if you travel or if you like to take an eyeshadow palette with you, like to work or after work kind of activities. I don't know. I just think they're really nice. So I'm very, very happy with these and these were sent to me from Midas Cosmetics. I am a Midas affiliate. So if you use the code KH Makeup, you will save money on the Midas website and I will earn a small commission with your purchase. So thank you very much for that. Okay, so this eyeshadow palette was one I featured in my kimchi video. This is the kimchi eyeshadow palette that I tried out. I had so much fun. You guys really liked the eye look I created with this palette and this is the Madame Maxine Suit Yourself collaboration palette. It's really cute and I mean, I'm really excited about Kimchi Beauty. I was so unsure of what to expect. I was like, is the quality going to be good? Is it going to be crappy? But so far, I feel like for the price point, I am very happy with the products I tried. So I would highly encourage you guys to check out my video if you guys are curious about this brand. Okay, guys, so we're getting close to the end here. Now we're getting on to some of the indie makeup I purchased. So I did place a big old glam light order because they had an amazing like Christmas sale and I picked up the sugar high highlighter you guys know how much I rave about milk and cookies so I wanted to get the other shade I think I have this here somewhere oh here they are so here's cookies and milk I don't know I always mix that up and then this is sugar high sugar high is a little bit lighter than I expected so I'm a little bit nervous to try it out on my skin tone I'm not gonna lie but I have high hopes that I'll really like it just based off of how much I really like cookies and milk. And I also saw I've been following Glamlight on Instagram, obviously, because I'm a Glamlight affiliate. In case you guys didn't know, you can save money using my code. All of my codes are always in my description box, but you guys, Glamlight's gonna restock the ice cream palette. I know a lot of you still want that palette, so keep an eye out on their socials or keep an eye on my community tab because as soon as that baby is back in stock, I will let you guys know on there so you guys can go and get that palette. Okay, so more Juvia's Place. This is my favorite Juvia's Place palette of 2021 so far. This is their collaboration with Vanessa. And you guys know I definitely prefer colorful eyeshadows over neutrals. But if I was going to wear neutral eyeshadow, this would definitely be my vibe. It's such a stunning eyeshadow palette. Highly recommend checking this out if you guys are interested in buying neutral palettes from Juvia's Place. Okay, I can't remember if I showed this in my December haul, but I did grab this and I really want to play with this palette. This is the That's My Jam palette by Too Faced. You guys, these purples and that bright pink and this iridescent looking color really got me this time. So it's so cute. I have the mini spice gingerbread palette that I still haven't used either, but I think I'll just start collecting these for packaging. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's okay. You guys can judge me. It's fine. This is adorable, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I bought a pile because of the packaging. <sighs> it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Okay, I also bought this palette because I feel like so many people were saying how good it was. And I was like, well, let me just get the rainbow palette from ColourPop. So I have worn this off camera. I haven't filmed with this yet, but this is the Fade Into Hue palette. And it's okay. I didn't think it was as great as people made it sound in their YouTube videos, but I've also only used it like once, so I need to play with this some more. Let me know if you guys want to see a look with this. I'll probably still film it anyway because I'm on a mission, you guys, to film with every palette I buy. At least a first impressions video, and then I want to try it out off camera as well for you guys. And of course, I'll always come back in my rankings videos and tell you guys some quick reviews on these, but... I saw a lot of videos about it, so then I got really curious. You guys know me. I'm a sucker, okay? So 
I did pick this up and okay I also got the Canyon and the Bloom palette from Ultra Ego I haven't used the Canyon yet I did use the blooms I wasn't impressed the Canyon swatch really nicely so I do want to create an eye look with this palette and test it out on my eyes so I can talk to you guys about it and in case you guys want to pick it up because it's a good deal if you wanted to dupe for the Natasha Denona bronze palette okay here's another palette from a brand that I wanted to try out in 2021 so I did grab the Serendipity palette from Alien Cosmetics. Look at the inside of this palette. It's so, so gorgeous. I haven't filmed with this one yet, but I definitely plan to. Like I said, I'm planning on filming an eyeshadow look, at least one look with every palette that I buy this year. So keep an eye out if you guys are curious to hear my thoughts on Alien Cosmetics. Okay, you guys are totally allowed to <laughs> call me out on this one, but I said I wasn't gonna buy it, but then I wanted to buy the Lost in Los Angeles palette, and I wanted to get free shipping from BH, so I did end up picking up the Orange Sorbet palette. I probably should have just bought Sugar Cone, but I think Sugar Cone was sold out, so now I have all the colorful BH Sweet Shop palettes. I think these all sold out again. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah i bought this one for the free shipping i was like it's worth it it was 18 bucks but i swear these palettes are so so good so i hope bh restocks them for as long as people keep asking for them they totally should do that they shouldn't not stock those let's be real here okay now i'm going to show you all the damage i did at glam light like i said i had such good luck with glam light towards the end of 2020 i got two of their foodie boxes i fell in love with their neutral palettes I just fell in love all over again with their eyeshadow formula so when I saw that they were doing 30% off I was like now's the time let me grab all of their eyeshadow palettes that I don't have and that way I can sprinkle in some videos if you guys are interested plus like I said I do have the discount code so I can feature them and then if you guys decide to pick them up you can totally do that so I went ahead and just it just went ham sandwich. So I bought the Street Taco palette, which looks like this. I know some people aren't into food theme makeup, but that is not me. I love these palettes. So I did grab the mini taco. This is so cute. The shade guacamole has my name written all over it. Look at this adorable little packaging. I'm going to keep them in the boxes because I think that makes them a little bit easier to store. But... I'm excited to play with this. That's such a pretty color story. Ring the shame bell. I bought the mini slider. I said I wasn't going to, but listen, okay? Listen, I like the glam like formula. <laughs> Look at this palette. Oh my gosh, this looks too real. I can't even. These two blue eyeshadows look absolutely phenomenal. So I'm very, very excited to play with my little mini slider palette. The packaging is like 10 out of 10, seriously. <laughs> seriously. Okay, so the last two food theme palettes I grabbed were the Pizza Slice palette. So I grabbed both the, I think one's called like Vegetarian and one is called Pepperoni or something. I don't know. I don't know. But one's like a meat slice and one's like a veggie slice. So one's more pink themed and one's more greens. So I'm very, very excited to play with these. I love this. I should, this should be my thumbnail for this video. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yum. Yum. <laughs> and then I bought the palette I said I wasn't going to buy, which was the paint palette. Again, this was like the ColourPop palette. Everyone was raving about how good the new paint palette was. So I was like, let me just get it. Let me just get it. Let me talk to my makeup friends on YouTube about this palette. So I did end up grabbing it and luckily I don't have the original paint palette so I don't feel that bad about it but look at this beautiful rainbow palette oh my gosh these shades over here just I just want to like dive in like face first into this palette this shade looks so stunning it's called cardamom yellow and this shade called titanium white like are you actually kidding me and this one is smaller than the original paint palette so I feel a little bit better about my ridiculous purchasing frenzy on the glam light website but oh my gosh this is so pretty once I try these all out I will do a ranking my glam light eyeshadow palettes because I think that'll be so fun this color story I can't I literally can't oh okay here it is Meat lovers, veggie lovers, sorry, I, I missed that 
glaring sign on the side of the box. Okay friends, we're almost done. I've got three of my most favorite palettes from January 2021 to show you guys. I haven't used two of these, but man oh man, did I have my eye on these. So I finally picked up the Van Gogh palette from Musée Beauty. We had a little bit of a casualty with the shade Starlight. It did come a little bit crushed, but I decided to keep the palette. They were gonna send me a replacement, but I told them, let me just try it with the smush shade. I smushed it back in there and it seems to be holding up just fine. So I'm very, very excited to try that out. So I will have a video with that as soon as possible. I did not want this palette and then I wanted it. So I grabbed the Starry Night palette from Storybook Cosmetics and this palette has so much detail to it. At first I didn't quite understand why they were charging like almost 60 bucks for this palette. But once I saw people do videos and stuff, I was like, okay, it kind of makes sense. Like there's a lot of detail to it. Um, the packaging is textured and it's made to look like a book when you put it on the shelf. Like there's a lot of really intricate details in this palette. So I know we all kind of snickered when Storybook was like, oh, we're coming out with the Starry Night palette. Everyone's like, oh, finally, like did they tease that like three years ago? But now that it's here, I'm very excited to put this on my eyes. I do have their Burn Book palette, and that one is really nice, so I'm expecting really good things from this palette as well. And then last, but certainly not least, is my Nomad Cosmetics Iceland palette. This palette, again, is one of my top contenders for best palette of 2021. It's so pretty. It's a blue-green palette with a pop of the reds and the oranges, so... I am very, very excited to continue playing with this. I've worn this quite a few times on my Instagram stories and I do have a first impressions video on my channel with swatches and thoughts on this palette. I would highly recommend if you are considering trying Nomad Cosmetics, I would say you definitely wanna get your hands on this one. So at first I was really debating picking this palette up because I was like, okay, I have so many blue green palettes, but I'm so glad I didn't pass on it because it's absolutely stunning and I would highly recommend watching my video or checking out some other YouTubers videos if you are considering picking up that palette and supporting a beautiful indie brand in my humble opinion. So that's it guys. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've been sitting here for like three hours. So I hope you enjoyed my January 2020 haul video. This is my first haul for the year. Like I said, I do have a haul playlist, so I would highly recommend checking it out. Let me know what your favorite item that you picked up in the month of January is. And yes, Club Nebula is totally an acceptable answer because, oh my gosh, I can't wait. Mine's gonna be here, I think, probably the first week of February. So as soon as I get my paws on it, I will be filming a first impressions video and let me know what other videos you would like to see from me. Um, let me know if there's any products that I hauled in this video that I need to film with ASAP if you guys are interested. That always helps me prioritize things. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys!